Hello, my brothers and sisters. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another Leroy West Ministries. Um, uh, this Saturday, what time is it? 312. 312, Saturday. 312, I want to greet you in the name of the Lord. And um, I just want to say if you woke up wrong, on the wrong side, lay back down. And when you lay back down, as you're laying down, ask God to feel your heart. When you lay back down, ask God to touch you. When you lay back down, ask God to speak to your heart. When you lay back down, ask God to reveal to you the very thing, the very thing that you're trying to, 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 to see, the very thing that you're trying to understand. And so, and so um, ask. Many of you, are, many of you, you in a situation where you need certain answers. You need certain answers, right? But you're quiet. You can't get them quiet. You can't get them quiet. Uh, close mouths, close doors, and open up mouth. An open mouth will open up doors. And so, see, your door will open up when your mouth open up. Your door will open up when you begin to speak what's in your heart. See, because what's in your heart, there's something in your heart that's the key that's going to unlock. That's going to unlock that door. And what's in your heart that's going to unlock that door is faith. Faith. Scripture says faith is the substance. It's substance of things hoped for evident. Straight evident of things not seen. You might can't see it naturally, so, but it's real. It's powerful. It's big. It's big in the spirit. It's big. It's big through the lens. You need to put them glasses on. And those are the glasses of faith. Put those glasses on. When you put those glasses on, you'll be able to see it. Put them on. Put them on. Put them on. And when you'll be able to see it, you'll be able to see how God sees and when you be able to see how God see, so you'll be able to walk therein to your promised land. And so in order, in order to get that, you gotta see it. In order to see, because you gotta know what direction to go in. You gotta know, you gotta go left, right, or whatever. And so what God is doing, God is refocusing. God is refocusing your eyes. God is refocusing your understanding. God is refocusing, God is refocusing. God is teaching you, teaching you how. He's teaching you how to, to see beyond how you've seen. Matter of fact, he's stretching. He's stretching your your vision. You know you got you got you got you got you got lights. You got the, the low beams. You got the, the high beams. Now the low beams can only see but so far. Down the road is dark. The, the low beams can only see but so far. But then the high beams, the high beams can see far, way far, far away. And and this is what this is what God is causing to wake up in you. Is that 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 faith? Those high beams, those high beams is vision. Those high high beams is 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 uh, is being able to uh, foresight, being able to see. God is God is, God is causing your eyes to, to to disperse, the eyes of your understanding, the eyes of your wisdom, the eyes of your interpretation, and see and see and see. This is why God has been calling you and speaking to you. Speaking to your heart, he's been speaking to you, and the reason why he's been speaking to you, he's speaking, been speaking to you, that 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 there's certain thing that he's been speaking to you to come out, and see the thing about it. There's this one time that I had this. Um, there's this one time I had this dream, right? And I had this dream, and um, I heard this sound. I heard this sound, and it, I was in this hallway, and the more I walked the more the sound became louder, the more I walked. And, and see, the thing about it, I couldn't, I couldn't totally interpret or hear exactly what was being said clearly. And so, so, but what I did, the more I walked, the closer I walked toward the sound, the sound, the sound began to get louder. And there's some of you that God's voice is becoming louder in your voice, louder in your spirit. You can hear God. You can hear God. It's, it, it's like His voice is becoming louder, 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 uh, like a like a like an echo. Like His voice is echoing, but with each echo, with each echo, the voice is get, it, it's, it's getting louder. It's getting louder. You saying Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You saying hello, hello. You saying God, save me, save me, save me. And and so and so and so, what's happening? There's an echo, and that echo is God's greatness. That echo is God's sound. See, because sound, a, a large sound, a great sound is also an echo, an echo. And, and God is speaking an echo out of your spirit, out of your spirit man. And this echo is like, this echo is like a domino, uh, like a domino effect. A domino effect when, you, when all the dominoes are, are, are stacked up. But when you tip that one domino, all of them begin to fall. And there are certain blessings that are echoes. 
I can hear certain blessings that are echoes that, that, that from the one echo, God's going to cause all the other blessings to begin to fall. All the other blessings begin to happen. And see, see what's, what, what's, what's happening, what's taking place, there, there's coming a breaking. And then it's breaking. What's, see, the, the hold up, the hold up in warfare, but the hold up, God is, God is breaking. God has broken the dam. The dam was holding the water back. And so in this breaking that God has broken, God has broken through, God has broken the dam, God has broken the resistance, God has broken the thing that, that's been holding your blessing like Daniel in the Bible. Now Daniel in the Bible, he prayed a certain prayer for his people to be free, for his people not to go into captivity, the Babylon captivity. See, but see, but he prayed that prayer the first day, but he didn't hear it until 21 days later. Some of you need to go on a 21 day fast. 21 day fast. 21 day denial. That you can hear clearly that God can visit you. See, because some of you that listen to me, you're facing, you're, you're, you're facing heavy warfare. Heavy. Heavy warfare. And, and the way to, the scripture said that some things come out about prayer and fasting. And so there are certain things that, that's connected that need to be done to be performed in order for you to be able to, to see this thing. See this, see, this thing will take a denial. It's going to take a flesh to deny it. See, because the more you deny your natural flesh, the more you'll feed your spirit man. And so this is what's happening. Your fear, spirit man needs to be fed even more. Your spirit man needs to be fed even greater because there's a preparation. There's a preparation. There's a preparation inside of you. There's a preparation that you need. There's a preparation that's taking place. That's taking place at this dimension that you're about to walk into. But in this dimension that you're about to walk into, you're going to walk into a, a dimension a dimension that's, that's large, a dimension that's huge, a dimension that's great. And in that, in that dimension being great, there's great warfare. There's great fights. There's great battles. There's going to be some big battles. But in, behind the battle, behind the warfare, behind the troubles, behind all of that, behind all that, behind all that, there are spoils. Behind all that, there are blessings. Behind all of that, uh, the thief, that's where the thief is at. And as the scripture says, if the thief be caught, he got to repay. And so it's due season to pay. The scripture says all things work together for good to them that love the Lord and that are the call according to his, according to his purpose. But also the scripture says that uh, if, in due season, if you faint not in the promise, if you faint not, in due season, you're going to receive it. You're going to receive, you're going to receive what you put in the ground. You're going to receive the seed, the fruit from your faithfulness. You need to know that through your faithfulness, you're going to receive the fruit from your faithfulness, from your faithfulness. But you must, you must, you must hear God, hear God. See, because God is coming, God is coming like an echo. In your spirit, man, and his word is speaking greater and greater and greater. And see the the blockage, the blockage has been broken. The block, the blockage is been broken, and the stream is coming forth. The blessings are coming forth. The breakthrough is coming forth. The water, the, now the water, now the water is twofold. The water is twofold. The water is going to to, to refill. The water is going to uh, fill your lungs up with wind. The water that God has sent is going to fill your lungs up with wind. Where you been? Where you been? Uh, windless. Uh, where where you been? You been been gassing for air. Where you've lost your breath. Something hit you so hard where it took your breath out. You stand up, but your breath gone. Breath gone. Trying to grab it. And so God's gonna give you that wind. And as the scripture said in Ezekiel thirty seven chapter, when 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 the, when the, when the, when the, when, the, when the arm had came together, God sent one command. And he said, "I'm gonna blow in you, and you're gonna revive." And you need to know it in your windless situation. God's gonna blow in you. And you're going to revive. God's going to breathe in you and you're going to revive. You're going to resuscitate. You're going to come back to life. That situation will come back to life. Uh, that, that, that love, uh, that, 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 that sensitivity is going to come back to life. You've been numb. You've been numb. You've been walking numb. You've been talking numb. You've been trying to fight your feeling because you really want to go off. But you've been fighting. You've been trying to be good. You've been trying to be good, God. I'm trying to be good, God. I'm trying to be a good person, God. I'm trying to hold my peace while I'm going through what I'm going through. You told me to hold it. And so, God, I'm trying to hold it. And so, you've been good. You've been good. And because you've been good, goodness and mercy shall follow you. Because you've been good, because you've been faithful. And, and you need to know that, that according to the scripture said, due season. When you're in your faithfulness, if you suffer, if, if, you, if, you, if you can bear and outweigh the test of time. That's what it is. You got to outweigh it, outweigh it, outweigh it, outlast it, outlast that thing, outlast it. And then you outlast it, and you outlast that, and you outlast it, you're going to get the victory because God has given you the, the stuff. That's going to make it. And see, this is not a sprint, but it's a marathon. And in that marathon, God is with you every step of the way. Because he said this way, I'm going to watch over my word. And it's going to accomplish that what it's going to accomplish. 
You need to know that whatever, whatever, whatever failure you thought you might have fell into, or you might have thought you're not good enough, or you might you might not might not not measure up in, in certain situations, and whatnot. But you need to know that whom God called, He qualified, and God has put in you what you need. God has put in you, you you're gonna make it. It, it don't matter what your mind is telling. It don't matter what your, your, your neighbor, what happened to him, what happened to her. See, but you different. See, because God has you. God chose you to make it. God chose you to arrive. And so you can't look at them and you can't look at that. The scripture says, you got to remember the promise. A thousand shall fall at your side and 10,000 at thy right hand. But none shall come near your dwelling because you trusted in him. And so keep trusting in him. Keep believing in him. Is it all right? Is it all right? And if you receive a message, somebody put in the comment, I receive a message. I receive a message. I receive good things, good things. And you know, this is good news in bad times. Good news, good news in bad times. There's a breakage. There's a breaking, there's a breakthrough, there's a break in, there's a break over. Uh, there's, a, there's an eye opening, uh, revelation, manifestation. It's coming to it's coming to an end. It's coming to it's coming to it's coming to an uh, end. It's coming to it's coming the, the the water the substance. When you pour something in a, in a in a container, after a certain point in time, it's gonna come to the top. And once it comes to the top, then it's gonna bubble up, gonna come out. And so many of you, yeah, there's certain things coming to the top. It's the, it's done filled up. It's done filled up, and the, the only thing but it is at the top. And so the top is about to come off. The top is about to blow. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. It's like somebody is like being in a, 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 like a volcano. And, and see that volcano is trying to erupt. And inside that lava and all that, inside. And so, but when that volcano erupts, there's an explosion. And after the explosion, the lava, the heat, the substance, it begins to leak and it begins to uh, 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 move upon the ground, begin to go downside the mountain, go into the valley and go into the cities, even go into the water, go everywhere we're going to go. And so that, that's what I see in the spirit. I see an explosion. And in this explosion, I see an explosion of wisdom. I see an explosion of love. I see an explosion of understanding. I see an explosion of God's spirit. His spirit, even the scripture said that he's going to pour out the spirit of all flesh. Sons, sons shall prophesy young. Uh, daughter, sons and daughters shall prophesy young men shall dream dream. His spirit is his essence. And he's pouring it out. I see this, he's pouring it out. He's pouring it out upon humanity. He's pouring out his essence. He's pouring out. His anointing, his, his power, his love, his grace, his mercy, he's pointing out. He's pointing out. And him pointing out, I said, today you hear my voice, harden out your heart. And if you don't know him, ask him to forgive you. If you've done wrong, if you don't know Jesus, and if you die tonight, you go to hell. You go to hell. Don't do that. Don't go there. Go to him. Go to him and just say, go say, God, I forgive me. Save me from my sins. I want to live eternity with you. I know that you died. I know that you died and you rose on the third day and you got all power in your hand and all I got to do is come to you for forgiveness. I got to come to you for atonement. And you said anywhere, whosoever shall call on, call on your name shall be saved, God, and I'm calling on you. Save me from this situation. Save me from them people. Save me from them jokers. Save me from myself. Save me from my situation. Save me. Just save me, God, please. And just say that. And, say that. and, and from saying that, it's happened. It already happened. If you repeated that, you say it, you deliver that, and it ain't about a feeling, but it's about a fact, what the scripture said. Scripture says if you call on his name, you're going to be saved. And if you call on his name, you ask, you ask him to come into your life, he's going to come into your life. You've been transformed. When you accept Christ, the scripture says that you become a new creature. Old things have passed away. Old things, they're gone now. When you accept him, that, that, in your acceptance, that, that washing, as you accepted Christ, he was washing you. He was cleansing you. He was re re renewing you. And, you know, and, and so he's cleansed you. And so you can be washed. So you're going to be washed and you're going to come up in the newness of life. You're going to be washed. You're going to be, you're going to be submerged in his death. And when you come up, you're going to come up in newness. You're going to come up in, in this reflection. Is that all right? God bless you.